cars behind the line. Help me count it down. Starting with three, two, one, go. Here we go, folks. All six robots in motion now here during the sandstorm period. Laker Robotics adding a cargo panel to the Red Alliance cargo ship. Their Alliance partner was able to do the same. Period comes to a close. 25 to 20, Blue Alliance with the lead, but only by five. Laker Robotics adding cargo now. And we've got the Warlocks working on the far side Red Alliance rocket, adding a hatch panel at level number two. 41-21 for the Blue Alliance, loads cargo and the forward cargo bay of the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Backside of the field, 14.05, delivers another hatch panel, while 15.07 adds more cargo to the Red Alliance cargo ship. Watching now is first team up 41.21, adds more cargo. Cargo on the near side of the Blue Alliance cargo ship, trying to fill it up. Red Alliance with three hatch panels on their far side rocket, 1507, trying to add some more. In the meantime, they've added some cargo as well. That'll be 1405, the Benny Falcon swooping in, delivering some cargo. Far side of the field, 4121 for the Blue Alliance. Adding cargo to cargo bay number three on the Blue Alliance cargo ship. 1507 now for the Red Alliance. The Warlocks working a little magic on that far side rocket ship. Adding another cargo hatch. Hatch panel is in place at level number three. 20 seconds remaining. This is the end game. Finney Falcons swooping in and perching up high at the level three docking platform. Cryptic cyborgs maneuvering to get in position as well. Cryptic cyborgs on level two. Time has expired. <laughs> Lifting off first, it's the Red Alliance. Red Alliance wins this one, 92 to 65 earning three ranking points, two for the win, an extra bonus ranking point for the half climb.